Good morning. Hello. Today is yet another day that the Lord has made. And of course, what will we do? We will rejoice. Even though my morning was crazy already, I'm still going to rejoice. Even though me and my son was fasting, I'm going to rejoice. Even though my count was kind of like... say mini hacked but things didn't look too kosher I'm still gonna rejoice um I went to bed with some of the same problems that I woke up with but I'm still gonna rejoice did I get like this overnight absolutely did it take time for me to get into this mindset absolutely do I wish things would just finally pan out for once um yeah that'd be great but not in my timing, unfortunately. It's in God's timing. He does all things well, so of course, I'll trust him. Do I think he's taking too long sometimes? Absolutely. Do I wish that he would move the thermometer in a direction that I would like sometimes? Absolutely. But does he know what's best for me versus I? Absolutely. It just feels good sometimes to just like get it out. Just to mini vent, not complain. Vent in a loving and caring way. That's the best way I can put it. Yeah. But honey, I'm telling you, it is always indeed something. But um, I'm strong. I can take it. Very, 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 very relaxing. Got a lot of work done, a lot of funny phone moments, a lot of funny conversations. Ah, obtained clarity on some things, some things pinched, some things I'm like, wow, really? But when you want to grow, it doesn't matter if it hurts you or not. Those who want to grow, you will be pinched. Because no one is living a perfect life. We all have to grow, need to grow. And lungs are breath in your body. There'll be things that will consistently need to change in order for you to grow. But I um, just want to say happy Thursday. Oh, thank God it's Thursday. Lo and behold, of course, Jared thinks he's going to the parrot game tomorrow. But surprise, love. No, you're not. Um, the boy is just so... Interestingly spoiled, yeah, he doesn't have a concept, you know, just trying to teach him certain things about being a gentleman. I can't teach him how to be a man, I know that, but I can teach him characteristics of a man, uh, morals, values, ethics, things gentlemen should do. And overall, Jared relatively has been doing good, but just lately, oof. And you know when people say, oh, well, boys will be boys, or they get into that age, and I get all of that. However, it's still selective. If a person chooses to do this, regardless of their boy, girl, it's a choice. We make selective decisions. So, I'm just like, Lord, just help me to raise this boy to the best of my ability. I cannot do it alone. <clears throat> There's no one else. Like I said, um, it's just me and my buddy. And, um, yeah. I read books. I look at videos. I talk to different other mature, responsible parents who have the same vision of parenting styles that I have. Um, oh, am I parked in the street and don't realize it? But most importantly, I pray. Because you can't get everything out of a book, out of a person. You can get what you need when you're on your knees. Mm, I like that cliche. You can get what you need when you get on your knees. Yes, God. Okay, I'm sorry. Just had to get churchy just to lose five seconds. But yeah, um, you guys have a good day. Talk to you later.
All righty. God bless you. Bye-bye.